I am Nathan Carly, postdoc researcher at the CEDOPAL, the Research Center for Papyrology at the University of Liège in Belgium, where two collections of authentic papyri coming from Egypt are kept. These testimonies of the variety of languages and graphic systems used in Egypt throughout its history are known among the scientific community as papyri leodienses, from the Latin name of Liège, Leodium. A first collection of 20 papyri in Demotic, Greek and Coptic, is owned by the university. They were bought during a trip to Egypt in 1954 by the late Paul Mertens, professor of papyrology at Liège, and they were restored in 2004 by a team of Italian papyrologists from University del Salento. One papyrus in this collection potentially contains a literary text, while the others are documents from daily life. The most ancient one could date back to the reign of the Roman Emperor Claudius, between 37 and 54 CE, while the most recent one is a Coptic account datable between the 7th and the 8th century. Since 2010, a growing private collection of almost exclusively Greek and Coptic papyri has been deposited in the Sedopal. Up to now, it consists of 139 papyri, from small fragments of documents to larger portions of a Greek literary role covering 1,500 years from the Ptolemaic period between the 4th and the 1st century BCE up to the 12th century. The private owner has entrusted the Sidopal with the restoration, inventory and study of these papyri. Traditionally, papyrus restoration follows four main steps, removing dust, humidification in order to, better, to clean better and to facilitate flattening, a drying process and fixing the papyri between two glass plates. Valorization of papyri leodienses is carried out mainly by scientific work, but also during public events. These exceptional testimonies are a wonderful teaching material for the students, giving the opportunity to grasp concrete remains of a vanished past. As such, the research seminar of papyrology at the University of Liège is partly dedicated to teaching and practicing papyrus restoration using the papyri of the private collection, and to the decipherment, edition, translation and commentary of the most interesting pieces of both collections. Public events are then the occasion to disclose to a broader audience the results of this scientific work. During the Journée du Patrimoine, by example, a weekend dedicated to cultural heritage in Belgium, visitors can freely enjoy an exhibition of the most beautiful pieces of our collections and see the papyrologists of the Sedopal at work restoring papyri. Upon request, the Sedopal also organizes special classes for students, for pupils from the high schools. During the, the celebrations of the 200th anniversary of the University of Liège in 2017, the exhibition Empreinte was the occasion to show Papyrus Leodiensis number two. Finally, organizing, finally, scientific meetings organized in Liège and in which the Cedopal is involved are also the occasion to organize small exhibitions. Since Scientific work on the papyri and divulgation to a broader audience are closely connected and need a manipulation of the papyri. No doubt that the lockdown due to COVID-19 put a dramatic stop to all activities. The substitution of, the, of all frontal teaching activities with online classes, the strictly limited access to the university, as well as the cancellation of all public events and scientific meetings prevent from any works on our papyri. Let's hope that with the normalization of the situation by the beginning of the next academic year, 
Our work on the papyri leodienses at the Cédopal will take place again as usual.